Hey everyone, my name is Chris, I'm with Heart and Cole, and we're a traveling family that does a lot of really fun trips with our little kids, and if that's something that you're into, we would love to have you guys subscribe to our channel. Uh, I'll have a link to some of our videos up here if you want to check some of that stuff out. But today, we are going to be talking about covered lens caps. Um, my wife got a couple of these for me for Christmas, and I've had them for a couple of weeks, and so far I really like them but I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a couple of the good things and a couple of the downsides that I have found with them. So, first off, they do. They seal up the cam they seal up the lens really well. Uh, I'm not gonna go throw this down and bounce it around like they do in their promo videos. These things are too important to me, but they definitely seal things up. So if you're in a dusty environment, uh, this is a zoom lens and it does seal up where the lens, uh, extends out of. So that's super handy. That's definitely a good bonus. It'll keep your lens cap from falling off if you have one on it. Um, gonna talk about that in a sec. So um, overall, they're definitely good and useful. Does give the lens a little bit more added bump protection. So the downfalls in them are, if you use a lens hood, now, how, you know, I mean, yeah, that kind of works. It's not quite as convenient. So you can still store it in your camera bag with your lens hood like this. It's a little awkward, but it does work. So the biggest advantage for these lens caps that I have found is doing film work where you use a variable ND filter. So variable ND filters, most of the ones that I have, do not have the ability to fit a regular lens cap on. So you're walking around with your lens cap or with your lens sort of out and about, these give you the ability to cover it up. That's definitely a big plus. Um, so the downfall, one of the downfalls with them, and this is actually probably one of the biggest downfalls that I have found, is the material on the inside. Uh, it's super sticky. I wouldn't say sticky, uh, tacky. Anyways, dirt, dust, sand, you name it sticks to it pretty badly. We've taken trips down to the beach. I take these off, stick them in my pocket. I have a little bit of sand come out and the inside is covered in sand. That's not something that you want to be putting over your lens, you know, and God forbid you put it over back here. That's just like, ah, that would just get, it gives me the heebie jeebies. So, that's a big, big downfall. The other downfall is, is that it doesn't necessarily provide any frontal impact. So if I'm gonna be using these, I'm almost always gonna be having a hard lens cap on the back and either a lens cap or my variable ND on the front so that my glass has some sort of physical protection, whether it's this or that. And then it also keeps the dust and all this stuff from potentially coming off. Um, they do clean up super easy. Literally two or three drops of water wipes it all off, cleans up super fast. You gotta dry it. It's not quite as quick as just clipping this on. So um, it's kind of one of those where it's a smallish deal, but depending on how picky you are with your camera gear, I absolutely despise having little dust particles and stuff. So kind of a big deal as far as that goes. Um, the other one that's a little weird getting used to is putting the lens cap itself on. So let's hook this guy up. <clears throat> now obviously if we have the lens sitting here and clip that on, no, no problem. Super easy to do. Peel it off one-handed, <clears throat> no big deal. Now let's say you're out and about, you're holding your camera, you don't have a lens stra uh, camera strap or any of that sort of stuff. Now, trying to do this one-handed, it becomes a little bit yeah, more difficult. Got it, but still it's a little awkward. So take some practice getting used to, to do it. Um, it's, it's not quite as easy as clipping this on. <clears throat> now, Overall, definitely happy I have them. I'll have a couple links down below where you can pick these guys up. I would highly recommend having one or two in your camera bag. They really don't take up any room at all. They're very, very useful. They definitely will help added protection, but 
do I buy their marketing of it will replace all of your lens caps? And that might be a little bit of a stretch just because of a couple of the limitations that I've said. The other side note is, is that the packaging that these come in make great little travel cups for Cheerios for your kids. And if you don't have kids, no big deal. You can use them for something else, store screws in them, whatever. But we found that you fill those up with Cheerios, throw them in your camera bag or your diaper bag, preferably the diaper bag, and uh, they work great as a little travel size. Toss it to your kid in your car seat, here you go. So that is our review for the covered lens cap. I hope you enjoyed this, found it useful. We would love to have you guys subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of fun adventures coming up. We've got some good tech reviews. Uh, we'll also have some kid reviews. So we've got a couple different things going on with our channel, but um, we'd love to have you subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions about these things, definitely leave. let me know. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you soon.